Hi guys! I am back from my little two-week break that I took. It really was only supposed to be one week, but I got carried away and got busy and didn't have time to film for the second week either, or just poor time management. But however you look at it, I am back. I just needed a little bit of time off, and we're right back at it. So today we're doing another almond set. I'm kind of stuck in that little phase for my practice hand. I think it looks best on her for some reason. But yeah, we're just doing our cover acrylic now. We're gonna do it on all four fingers. And I'm revisiting Aura Nails since I just got pigments and eyeshadow. And I had tried the pigments on either a practice hand or my own hand before, and they're just not the best quality. So I did get an eyeshadow palette. It's like a knockoff of the James Charles one because it's so colorful and it has a lot of options, but um, high key, I don't support James Charles. And yeah, so we just got a knockoff on Amazon, super cheap. I think it was like $8 or $9 for a lot of colors. And those are gonna be my pigments to do aura nails with. So today we're dipping into that for the first time. I'm also gonna try a seashell nail for the first time. And just like every video, Practice makes perfect. I'm practicing the 3D gel flowers again. And this time I am going in with a different method. I think before I had mentioned I'm just gonna try and do like the McCart rhinestone glue because I feel like I have a little more control. And I did try it. And so once we get to that, I'll talk about how that went.
so we're gonna do the aura nails with eyeshadow pigment on the pointer and pinky fingers so I'm just going in with base coat because it's sticky so I will cure that I think I did a whole 60 seconds I'm not sure I don't think it really matters in a, on a practice hand obviously but it has a sticky layer so even if you want to cure the whole time it's totally fine but yeah a sticky layer and then I just did this hot pink right in the center and then spread it out or blended it out rather and I love the way this looked I went in with two little quick coats there um, just kind of layering it on top of itself and then after that, as you'll see in a second, I go in with a second base coat right there and then um, cure that again and then do it an actual second layer with the pigment and it ends up being perfect. It's exactly what I want. So this is a much healthier and safer option than an airbrush and cheaper as well and you don't have to do gel and acetone. It's just powder, it's awesome. So I highly recommend this. So I had gotten close to my camera, I guess, and touched it without realizing it, which is mega frustrating. So I lost all the footage I just did on this hand with the nail art. Um, as you can see on the pointer finger, we'll just start there. I did a little hibiscus flower with just um, white gel paint and on the, ring finger obviously we're doing a french in like a nude color um the middle finger that was a white french and then i did not cure that and i did streaks of like a dark brown and light brown and uh maybe the like nude beige color that i'm doing on the ring finger to make seashell lines and yeah you just don't cure the white or whatever base color you're gonna use for your French. And the rest of those kind of blend and bloom a tiny, tiny bit, the lines that you do. And that's how you get your base for your seashell. So um, unfortunately I did not get that on camera even though it was my first time and I wish I could have had it on camera, but uh, I'm, I get to like so close to the nail, I don't pay attention like where my face is or whatever and I touch the camera and make it stop or whatever. It's just frustrating, but anyway. So we moved on and that pinky head just has a little tiny star on it. And now I'm attempting to draw a seashell. Um, it doesn't end up great, but it's something, you know, but the original inspo picture has a seashell charm and I don't have charms like that. So um, we're just gonna hand draw one as best we can. But yeah, so far so good with the inspo versus my version. Um, I just wish I could have had that seashell nail on camera, but besides that, I'm liking it so far.
those two nails where we did a little bit of line art and black gel paint i just did gold chrome on top and now i'm gonna glue a couple pearls for accent and i really like how it looks on the seashell nail it looks very beachy with the pearl now um but yeah we'll just flash cure those and now i'm gonna start this leopard print nail and i ended up loving this nail so freaking much i this was also my first time doing leopard print this whole set is a set of first i didn't even realize it was my first time but it was my first time doing leopard print and it was so much easier than i thought it was going to be and i loved the colors and whenever i do the flower on top of it we'll get into it when we get there but basically i love this nail so much i kind of wish i left it as is instead of putting a flower on top it still looks really cute but i just wish it was just leopard print but yeah i love this little nail So now it's time for the flower and I do feel like I had much more control with the rhinestone glue like um, it didn't take as long and also I can do smaller beads with it than I can with the hard gel. I still want to practice hard gel because I do love the way that looks better than this but this was much easier for me. So if you're going for like ease of technique I would do something smaller like um like glue gel glue but if you really love the look of those 3d hard gel nails they're really unique like there isn't something that looks like that so like this it looks cool in the end but it, it's not the same like it's not the same texture it's just a little bit 3d and yeah so i do like this for what it is but it still wasn't really what i was looking for i wanted something that looked pretty much exactly like a hard gel nail without being as complicated as it is for me um granted it wouldn't be complicated if i practice it more you know but for now i'm trying to uh just not spend all my time on one nail because i can't get that technique down so i am looking for easier methods um and hint in my next video after this which is already filmed i do have an easier method so spoiler but Anyway, so we've done that with the Marcart rhinestone glue, and now we're just going to paint it. I also feel like I'm going to start painting my nails, I mean my flowers on the nails, like with a, a white first to get that opacity. Because I always have to do like several layers of the color, and it just looks like not, not very good with so many layers of the color. So I think I'd rather just have white underneath and then do the color and see if that looks a little bit better. But yeah, so this is like a corally pink. It's a really pretty color with the set. And at this point, it's looking a little more like a starfish kind of shape, which I'm not mad at with the seashell and everything. I kind of wish I would have just leaned into that and made it look a little bit more like a starfish. Like that would have been easy. But I was just trying to match the inspo and wasn't really, you know, my mind was on the inspo pick and trying to match it. It wasn't I didn't have originality here so I was not thinking about trying to make this a starfish or change anything about the set so that's something to think about in the future is like if something is looking a different type of way just run with it and be artistic and creative and whatnot but yeah so here's my little starfish flower that is not a starfish and it looks okay it's better than the other ones like I get better every time and it is what it is but yeah, we're just going to add some detail to this now.
so really the flower is not bad it's actually super cute but what i was saying earlier is that it still is a little bit big for me and it covers up the leopard print french almost entirely and i really love that nail it's probably my favorite nail so i wish it did not cover it up and the problem with the hard gel was that i just could not get the beads small enough to get tiny intricate flowers and so I switched to the McCart rhinestone glue thinking that I could get smaller beads and they are but they're still not small enough for me to like really give detail to the rest of the nail and just have the flower as an accent piece not cover the whole entire nail art that you just did so um yeah in my next video I do have a different method and I do think it is much better for me personally so we'll see that next week but yeah, the nail is honestly really, really cute. I do love that nail. And we just put another pearl right in the center and now we're doing glossy top coat on all of these. So after top coat, our last step is to do this 3D gel line work. And I'm doing just a couple nice swoops on the pinky with the aura nail. And then we're gonna do the lines on the seashell nail to really make that pop. That is the set done, girlies. It is so freaking cute. I cannot get enough of it. The line work on the seashell nail, the 3D line work at the end, really pulled it all together. That's like the last cherry on top for seashell nails. I wish I got the rest on camera, but it is super simple. I will probably do another one before summer's over so we can actually see. Um, but yeah, I love this set. The aura is much, much, much better. The seashell nails cute. The flowers are getting better. I love this set. 